of you that were mortified with that statement, what happened was, you create an expectation in your mind of how I'm supposed to be, and when that expectation isn't fulfilled, that only exists in your mind, you as an irresponsible human being put that responsibility on me because you got to talk to believe that I said something that got you upset. And here's the thing, no one has ever said anything to you that's ever gotten you upset. You have heard the words, your brain gave it interpretation, your brain gave it meaning, you reacted to it, you responded to it, but you didn't know that it was all in your head and you blame the other person. Because as little kids, we're taught that. I teach, uh, my life is Wednesdays and Thursdays, I teach Yogarani, it's yoga and martial arts for preschool kids in three different schools in Jersey. And then I go travel around do my workshops and everything uh, Friday through Tuesday. So when I hear teachers say things like, well, when he said that, how did he make you feel? Oh. Well, when he said, when she said that to you, when she did that behavior, how did it make you feel? How did she make you feel when she did that? And I go, oh no, stop. Because when we say things like that, what we're doing is we're teaching our children to believe just like you adults believe that other people are responsible for your happiness and other people control your emotions. So when I have my kids, when one kid takes somebody else's spot or something like that, and, okay, then I squat down immediately. I squat down to him or to her, and I'll ask the child that got upset. I'm not going to say to the kid that got upset, you know, what, what, what happened when she did this to you? That she didn't do anything. I squat down and I say to my kids, why did you take the words that she said and make them mean something that upset you? And they go, I don't know. It's because they're trained. Does that make sense? If I said something racist and bigoted and upsetting in English, what would your response be? If I said the same exact words, I, I'm, I'm from, I was born in Israel, so I speak Hebrew. So if I said those same exact words to you in a language of Hebrew or something that you don't understand, would you respond the same or different? Yes. Different. So who's the one that chooses how to respond? Who's the one that, we, I do it ourselves. Who's the one that gives something an interpretation? Yeah, and then we give it meaning. And then we respond to it because we've also been brainwashed into thinking that our opinions are real. And we've been brainwashed to thinking that our opinions matter to other people, and if they don't, we spend our time and energy trying to prove it to them. 